As you can see here, I'm getting this error that says no Python interpreter configured for the project. This is because we have a Python project, but we have not defined which Python interpreter to use because we can either use a system-wide interpreter or we can create a virtual environment. So quick fix is to just click on this and it will be used. But if you're not seeing this, you can just click on configure Python interpreter and click on add new interpreter, add local interpreter. And now you can go wherever you have installed your Python. So the easy fix is just click on system interpreter here. And if you're not seeing any Python version here, I'll show you what to do. But if you're seeing this, just click on OK and this error will be gone. But if you're not seeing that, what you can do is again, go to add new interpreter here, local interpreter, click on system interpreter and click on this three dots here and go to wherever you have installed your Python. I'll show you the default directory where Python is installed. So you can go to your explorer, go to C drive, inside users, go inside your current user and search for app data. Inside app data, there is local and inside local, there is uh, programs. Inside programs, you will see Python. Here you have your Python installation. So you can just copy this path and click on this three dots and paste it here. Okay. And then scroll down, you'll see python.exe. Click on this and then click OK and then you will have this here and just click on OK. So now you are using system-wide Python interpreter, but a good practice is to use virtual environment so that we can install project-specific dependencies in that virtual environment. So if you want to see how you can create virtual environment, check the link in the description below.